this one. Same thing. Two. Nope, three. What's going on, everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife, Jordana, and our kids, Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff, and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm doing a quick little repair on our Winnebago, 2008 Winnebago Sightseer compartment doors. They have these plastic plunge latches, which is right here. And you can see this is the new one. I actually broke this off. And then I got a replacement. But the replacement came with screws. But you need to use rivets to get it to actually work properly. Um, so I got to rivet this, but this whole, um, I have to widen out to get rid of the rest of the rivet. So what I did was I drilled out the old rivets and then that left a little bit there. So I got to fix that. But in order to do so, I have to unlatch it again. So this is the access panel, um, to the latch, which controls the plunges. So. Okay. You can see. How did that stay closed when you drive? Because I had a screw in there temporarily. This side is big, that side is small. So how will we get the golf cart over there? We just drive it over. So how will we get three vehicles? Jeep, RV, and Okay, so there's the mechanism. So what you have to do is just simply unlatch this, because that's for this side, and then push it. And see, there it is. Pushes right out. And then it just unclips. So you can see that's the remnants of the rivet. I'm just going to drill that out real quick and get it to the same size as that. Alright, so now I got that cleaned out, that. This is going to go back in. Um, obviously it goes this way and you can see it's got a square thing here. So now we just got to get the rod to hook back on. The rod should be like that. And then just push it back in, like so. And then you can see that pops back. And now you're just gonna rehook this into that circle. Like that now it's back together and we're going to reattach the plate first to hold everything into place and then we'll do the rivet yeah. all right i got my my uh my assistant aurelia here thank you for your help aurelia you're welcome but this is getting a little heavy but i will still do your honor <laughs> Almost, we got three more. Oh, gosh. You're doing great. Two more. Good. Four more. Alright. Okay. That's it. Got a girl. Do you want your finger? I don't know. 
Yeah. And we're just gonna test, obviously, that this works. Do these have radios? And it works. Um, I think people who own their own, they have radios in their golf carts. Because they just saw a blue and red cast with <coughs> a radio. All right, so I had to go to Home Depot and buy this rivet gun. It was like 30 bucks, but it came with rivets, which is really good. And this is the yellow rivet. I'm pretty sure this is the color because that fits in that. So hopefully this works. I don't have to drill it out again. So now we'll rivet the top and the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. In a little bit, can we take this guy out for a ride again? Mm-hmm. When it's all charged up. There we go. Why do you put all these metal stuff in your bag? It's the other one. <coughs> Alright, so you gotta do a I think that was like three or four squeezes of the handle. And then this one. Same thing. Two. Nope, three. And there we go. Look at that. So that is now fixed. And it works. Alright, so that was it. Pretty simple. Uh, how to replace the um, plunge latch on your underside compartment door. This is for a Winnebago, 2008 Winnebago Sightseer, but any door that uses these plunge latches. Pretty simple. Alright, any questions leave a comment down below. I'll link to the uh, tools I used, but uh, all you really need is a river gun and a drill. Yeah, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs>